Wednesday. Good morning. It's a wonderful Wednesday. We've had an exciting week already. If you watched our vlog from yesterday, the girls got their dolls yesterday. We had a great, great day. And today is an exciting day because it's Natalie's first dance class. Yay! <laughs> So she's already in her dance gear and running around the house calling herself Ballet Natalie. It's the most adorable thing ever. So we're gonna try on the tap shoes and see which pair fits her and she's very, very excited. Needless. Are you Ballet Natalie today? Yeah, up there is my dancing closet. All right, right, let's. your dance bag is up here. This closet still needs to be organized, but your dance bag is up here. So let's see which tap shoes fit you. There's your little Natalie dance bag. Yeah, we gotta go through our small arsenal of dance shoes here and figure out what's gonna fit and what is not. That's not. Those look tiny. Those look like they'll what fit. What do you think? Do those fit? Yeah, they do. So Natalie took a little Mommy and Me class that we did for like six weeks last spring or this previous spring, but this will be her first dance class all in her own little Natalie self. <laughs> oh, she's very excited. I think that those fit. Let's find some tap shoes. Are they good for stomping? Today is going to be a hoot. I'm kicking. No, I'm... Pointing? No. Tapping. Tapping? Well, yeah. come here. Let's try some tap shoes on. Huh? I don't need some tap shoes. Oh, boy. <laughs> I have my own tap shoes. All right. Go tap. Thanks, Mom. Luckily, we had all the shoes and the sizes we need from Bella doing the hands. You gonna show her how to do it, Bella? Here's how it go. does actually make a good tap floor. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're my teacher? You are a teacher to help me tap? Are you a teacher to help me tap? Yeah. Careful. Dad. You show her shuffle? Show her shuffle, Isabella. Good listening, shuffle. Natalie. I had a grade on my class. Hey, your class isn't done yet. Come on! All right, those fit. Quick lunch today. Isabella left her lunchbox at school yesterday, so she's going to have to bring her regular lunchbox home. We've got the backup lunchbox over here. We've got AM and PM snack over here. Then I've got carrots and cheese in this one. I've got some fruit in this one. I've got an Incrustables, a little berry medley bar, and half a thing of some sea salt, veggie straws. And I did have someone ask about um, like juice on a previous video, which would have been a week ago now. But these Honest Kids juice are basically like flavored water. It's water with like flavoring in there. They're only like 35 calories. So it's a good option for your kids don't like drinking just water and you don't want to give them a lot of calories my kids need as many calories as they can get i think you can probably obviously see by packing lunch because they have my husband's metabolism and they burn off calories like crazy huh <laughs> especially this one right there all right so we're gonna pack this and get ready to go to school with his back oh that's cute pongo and Prieta are very happy at their new homes <laughs> Uh -huh. Very happy. Are Both you? kids woke up snuggling their dolls. It was really cute. Natalie came out carrying all her stuff. She had an arm full into Isabella's room. All right, we're going to get our shoes on. It's time for Isabella to go to school. And then, Natalie. Put your hands on it. Oh. You can't turn it off. <laughs> it's clean. It's clean. Did you get your spot clean? <laughs> So we are back home for a few minutes. We're gonna grab the forms and then we're gonna head down to Natalie's dance class because it's not too long after Sissy starts school. And the kids have started helping me vacuum with this little dirt double vacuum, so it's been really great. Oh, Yoda. Yoda's back here hissing at it. It's not gonna do anything to you, Yoda. The cats are still in their older age, not fans of the vacuum. So I'm gonna put these veggie straws up and go recycle this box. And then we're gonna head to Natalie's dance class in a few. Yoda, uh, he's such a big baby. I've got one excited kiddo back here. We're getting ready to go inside. Keep going, straight forwards. Opening here. She's done dancing. She had an awesome day. 
<laughs> and they don't have viewing windows or anything, so I couldn't watch. So that was a little bummer, but she said she had lots and lots of fun. Mm -hmm. You gotta leave your regular shoes on, Natalie. I don't want them on. Well, you gotta put your regular shoes on. Dan's shoes are for dance class. Here, Mom, here. Oh, dear. So we ran up to Costco real quick. I had to get gas. So we're gonna run in here and grab some lunch things while we're up here. And then we may try to stop past Michael's for Halloween filler and then we'll head back home. Are you super excited about your dance class? Yeah. I do want to go. You wanna go get some Costco cheese? Mm -hmm. Costco cheese is Natalie's favorite. <laughs> let's, let's go, go get some Costco cheese. Uh, let's go buy some stamps first. I don't know why she wants to get stamps at Costco. Natalie loves Costco. It's her favorite. <laughs> They've already got Christmas trees out. Yeah. All right, so we ran back home a little bit and we're probably gonna run out to Michael's real quick because I want to get the sparkly stuff to finish off that little bottle decoration. But I will do a quick Costco haul and it was funny because a lady that I was sitting there talking next to at Natalie's class has a daughter that's almost the same age as Natalie. One daughter that is a year older than Bella and they go to the same school. And then we walked into Costco and I'm walking around and she walks in and walks past and we're like, hey! So we're apparently following each other around today. It's kind of funny when stuff like that happens. So anyhow, I will show you the Costco haul real quick and then we are probably gonna run to Michael's real quick and then just hang out around the house. I need to do towels and that sort of laundry. So our Costco haul with our little dancer and apparently Yoda. <laughs> do you have fun at dance class? <laughs> she did. She had a lot of fun. Yoda, you're right in the way, buddy. So one problem with doing floor hauls is cats get in the way sometimes. So this was one of the things that they had out for like a trial. And since I'm liking the pita chips, these were really good. And Natalie liked these as well. So I decided to get those. This is that Saxony style cheese that we like. It's like a Swiss, but it's got a little bit different flavor. I don't really know how to describe it. It's Costco cheese, apparently. <laughs> and then we also got these go -Gurts. This is a pretty good deal. There's 32 in there. It's the simple kind. I like those as opposed to the ones that are like more character-y because they tend to be, I don't know, not as good. I got these Pumpkin Bar Fiber One Bars. These looked really good. And these are, of course, Natalie, careful, um, seasonal. We also got sandwiches. The kids like these for lunch, obviously. This is a pretty good deal. They had a coupon on these. And it's 18 of them. This was another thing that they got me. They got the trial. And we tried this. It was really, really good. So I thought this would be good for like a quick meal one night. My husband really likes Philly cheesesteaks. So we got those. Some Honest Kids juices as per usual. And Mickey Mouse chicken nuggets. Can you show me the chicken nuggets? She's very excited about those. They're Mickey shapes. How cute is that? So she was like, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse chicken nuggets. Like the bag's as big as you are, Natalie. <laughs> so anyhow, that's our Costco haul. I'm going to put this stuff away and we're going to go get sparkly bits at Michael's to finish off our decoration. Mom, two, Natalie. More, Mom, two more bits, then we'll go to Michael's. She's in a very bossy, bossy mood today too, by Mom, the way. Mom, I'm not in bossy. See? You're not bossy. I'm talking to you. She was telling me how it was going at Costco and the people that were checking us out were laughing at her. She's like, you're not following me. It's time to go. Look at you able to open up the refrigerator, Miss Big Girl. Oh dear, she's almost four, folks. It's starting to show. <laughs> Are you going to be four soon? Yeah. Can you close the refrigerator, please? Are you putting them away? Thank you for trying to help. Those, unfortunately, they go in the freezer, so those don't go up there. To put those in the bottom part. Let me get. I'm going to throw some Italian beef into the crock pot real quick. I just got a beef roast here. I'm going to toss that in with some seasoning and some pepperoncinis and Italian dressing, and that'll be dinner. So I just put that on high to cook, and I'm actually going to pick up some pepperoncinis while we're out, so I may try to stop past Target, but that is at least going. It's at least started. We are back. I've got everything on the list, and then some, of course. I'll show you quick what we got at Michael's and Target. I also stopped in Joanne's, which is right around in the area, and got a little bust thing for necklaces that I looked at like a month ago and we went to a different Joann's and I couldn't find it there. So anyhow, we stopped in there and I got that as well. So I will show you real quick what we got. We've got some relaxed time and then it'll be time to go pick up Bella. I've just got to get the towels changed out and that'll be about the extent of what I get done around here today. Although I am going to try to work on their picture hanging things when we get back. So I got this bust. I'm either going to use it in the purse room, which I call like my filming room, the purse room. There's a long story 
that I just got a comment about. If you don't know my original channel, I review purses and stuff. It's it's a thing. So maybe I'll put that in the question and answer. But anyways, um, I got this. I don't know if I'm going to put it down there in the purse slash filming room or if I'm going to put it in my bedroom. But I got that. And then at Michael's, I got these because I was wanting some hydrangeas. Hi, Luna. To put in a vase in the dining room. These are obviously faux, but... I thought that those would be good for that. And last year, I looked everywhere for a cauldron. I was looking everywhere. And I saw this at Michael's. And I don't know that I have a spot other than I may just put it in, like, the middle of my dining room table. Um, but I thought, you know what? I better grab this while I found a cauldron. And this was 50% off. So it was only, I think, $9 after the 50% off. I think everything I bought at Michael's was 50% off. And this was 40% off. So, and I got all of the little filler stuff that I needed for my little spooky decorations. I got these glitter things, which I'm just basically going to transfer into one of those vases in there. And I think this was the only thing that wasn't on sale, and I had a coupon that I could use 40 or 50% off. So I ended up getting a better price. I'm going to put this in the bowl in the dining room of filler. And I think that that's it at Michael's. So we just got those things, the flowers, the base, and the filler stuff. Then at Target, I had to go in to get pepperoncinis and pancake mix and then came out with $80 worth of stuff. But actually most of the stuff is stuff that I had on my eventually to get list and I figured we might as well go ahead and get it today. So I got this pancake mix because I used it all when I made the baked chicken the other day. I got the barbecue sauce that I make. Luna's sitting here knocking stuff over um, for when I make barbecue pork and stuff like that to put up. So I have it on hand and my husband likes using it as a dipping sauce. Peppertinis that I needed for dinner tonight, so I'll put those in the crock pot. I got some more cat food, which is probably what Luna smells and why she's so interested in this Target haul. And then I also got this in the dollar section. I thought that this was really pretty, and I'll put this up for Thanksgiving. It says, it's not happy people who are thankful, it's thankful people who are happy. I thought that was really beautiful. And then I got some more disinfecting wipes. I got these in the dollar section because you can never have enough glitter led lights right i got some cute critter stickers for the girls thought these would be cute for them to make little woodland scenes and then what the bulk of the price i think i spent 70 ish dollars but really the the bulk of it was i got gymnastics outfits for both of the girls so they're going to be starting gymnastics next week and so oh and i got these little macaron tights because they were on clearance they're in isabella size anyhow I got those and these leggings. So, Natalie started dance today. Bella is going to start jazz class next week. And then they both start gymnastics next week, I believe. So, for Bella, just for what they had available in their size, but it works out because Bella's cold-natured. I got this long sleeve one with the pink and the rhinestones. I thought that this was cute. And the little shorts to put over it in case she wants to wear shorts over it. So, that one's for Bella. And then I got this unitard for Natalie. She's not particularly hot natured. She or she's not particularly cold natured. She's usually hot and doesn't want to wear layers like me. So I got this and a four or five for her. This little unitard. It's got little shorts already built in. So these will be their two little gymnastics outfits, and I will work on getting them some more. We already have dance outfits for both girls because Natalie can just wear Isabella's. Older outfits from when she first started, and then Isabella has outfits left over from when she did dance just like a few months ago. But anyhow, she's going to try a jazz class because she, she was saying this morning she wanted to do ballet again. And I went, oh, I think we need to just stick with you trying jazz because it was like nothing but complaining like the whole month before recital. I think it's tap that she doesn't like. But anyways, I digress. That's a whole nother. That could be a whole video. So I'm going to go throw these in the crock pot and put all this stuff away. And throw my towels in the dryer and hang out for a little bit. Then we'll go pick up Bella at school. So this stuff is looking pretty good for dinner. So we'll so let that simmer on low because it looks like it's about done actually. We are back home. Bella's doing a little coloring. They had a fun day at school. And I'm working on getting all of the decoration stuff set out. So here are the three little glass jars that I got at the dollar section from Target. I just filled this one up with little glass balls. I just filled these up with spiders from Hobby Lobby. And then I went and got this sparkly stuff. I really love this. Cause it like, it's like a wave. Like it almost acts like water. Um, 
sparkly stuff at Michael's. I think that those are cute. So that's exactly what kind of what I envisioned for those. And then I put my flowers over here. That's the little pumpkin that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I feel like the flowers kind of complete off this space over there. So the dining room is really coming together. The dining room is exactly what I envisioned. And then for this year I have my spells, brews, and potion books over here in the window. So I went ahead and put the cauldron over here next to the Happy Halloween sign. So I thought that, that was kind of cute. So that's where everything went. And I'm going to go put the girls' leotards in their rooms what? and finish doing towels. So I've just been working on exchanging towels out in the, lawn, in the laundry room, like washer to dryer, and I've cleaned the four bathrooms, which I refuse to video with that. I don't know. You don't need to see me clean my bathrooms. I did it. Um, so I just have this entryway bathroom to finish up, and then um, I'm going to change gears to doing their picture strings, and then before long, it'll be dinner time, and that'll be it. Natalie just asked me, she's like, if we could check our room for surprises, I'm like, Natalie, that's like a one-time rare occasion thing. Why I'm unloading the dishwasher so I can load it again. Casey, go Redbirds. Go Redbirds. <laughs> Who's the Redbird? Do you remember what the Redbird's name is? So Reggie. No. Reggie. Reggie. Right. You have a happy cousin. Is it Reggie? Look what we got from UPS. And it's a four box. But this is something that goes with the bed. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> So now I have to get on getting mattresses. I don't know where I'm going to stick this thing. It's huge. So I mainly ordered the Sephora item just to get this Origins booster kit, but look what I found. Macaron lip balm. Someone on Bags for Bubbles told me about it. It's the cutest thing ever. What's up, Natalie? You doing some art? I got a lamp. You made a lamp? I need some tape on it. You need some tape on your lamp? Hold on a second. So I'm going to work on this picture hanging project real quick and then it'll be dinner time. So I'm going to use these command hooks that I found at Target. I'm going to hang a string between two of these and then clip art onto it with these clips. These are for Natalie's room actually. These are for Isabella's room, the pink ones. And then that'll get all this stuff off the walls. So it should be pretty easy because it's this command hook. So these are the little pre-made wood things that I got and they were already pre-painted from Michaels. And I have these command hooks and I'm actually going to command hook on both sides of them. I'm going to command hook this to the wall and then actually command hook this to it as well. Then I'm just going to tie a string in between this and go from one hook to the other. And then they can hang the clips off this. This should be, hopefully, I guess I shouldn't say it until I'm done, pretty simple and easy. So I just tied it around the clip and it goes through the center and then I'll cut off the excess. So I've got the butterfly side up and then I've got the strings. I basically just have to see how far over I want this and then I'm going to cut it and then of course once it gets things on there it hangs down a little bit. Oops, my camera doesn't like that. It's not focusing. Anyways. And then I'm going to cut it so I can tie it off over here. And just a word of advice, when you're hanging these, you can pretty much hang them out straight whenever you're attaching this to the wall. Because then when you put the um, hooks on there and everything starts hanging down, it'll create like that loop look. Alright, so there is her picture string. My camera is not wanting to focus on this pink wall for anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of these clips on and hang some of our artwork up. Alright, so there is Bella's artwork hanger and it was pretty quick and easy DIY and pretty cheap as well because those little wood things I think were only 99 cents. The command hooks were like 7 or 8 bucks and the string was a couple dollars and then the clips but you can do multiple ones of these. So if you did your playroom and a couple kids rooms, you could do picture hangers for multiple rooms for probably under $15 so it's a pretty good deal. And Natalie's isn't quite as big, but I already had things up on her wall, so I just put a little one over here on the side. And the nice thing is, because this is so easy to do, I can always change it later or put a bigger one. So there is Natalie's little DIY art hanger in her room. Right here, see in the corner? See? Ta-da! Then you can hang all your artwork in your room. Sound good? I want to see a picture. Group hug! Group hug!